Yeah, I just don't know where this energy is coming from. Where this whole world is against me, and and you know I'm angry, and and and, and things aren't fair, and and I, I should be here, and I, I you know top rank should be grateful because I was the one that bought Bud Light to to, to top rank. Like yo, bro, top rank was has been here for over what fifty years. Their first fighter was what Muhammad Ali. They promoted Pacquiao and Sugar Ray Leonard and and Thomas Hearns and. Oh, you know, marvelous Marvin Hagler and, and Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya. Like, bro, th this is an established company. You're not bringing shit over there. Like, you don't think they've had deals before, lost them, came back. Like, don't forget, you in the position you are in in your career because of top rank. You get what I'm saying? Top rank, the one that got you those, those, that the that unification opportunity against Loma. Top rank that got you that title shot against Comey. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't understand what treatment are you getting that other black fighters are getting over you. I don't understand. Uh, fucking Shakur Fort Yoshino. You fighting Josh Taylor. I mean, if you ask me, I would rather fight Josh Taylor for my legacy, and I'm sure he's getting a bigger bag to fight Josh Taylor than to fight Yoshino. And it's in New York in your hometown. Same thing that, that, that Shakur got. In, in, in New Jersey, his hometown. What are we talking about, Tio? And yo, and the shit that makes me mad about uh, uh, this is that yo, Tio at one point was my favorite fighter. Tio was uh, uh, like, this is when he became. First of all, I I was like, yo, he's gonna beat Loma. I knew he was gonna beat Loma. I knew it, and I was telling everybody. Everybody was saying I was I was bugging or like my inner circle. I was like, nah, he's going to beat Loma. I'm telling you, man, I know boxing. I know boxing. And, and Loma's coming off, I think, a year layoff. He's older. You know, this guy's young and hungry. He got power. And that's exactly what he did. He came out and won. But that's not why he became my favorite fighter at that time. He's no longer my favorite fighter and hasn't been for quite a while. Is He became my favorite fighter when in that 11th round of that fight, he got pummeled by Lomachenko absolutely pummeled i was like damn he's about to get stopped in this 12th round that, I, that's immediately what came to my head he's about to get stopped yo then he came out in that 12th round and beat the shit out of loma and almost stopped him that let me know this man has that dog in him this dog bites i was like yo that's the fucking type of fighter i should root for a motherfucker who got that dog in him when he needs a round to win the fight and Although, uh, uh, not on the official scorecards, but on, like, just the, the, the fans' perspective, whoever won that last round won the fight. So, from the fans' perspective, he needed that last round. He came out and he beat the shit out of Loma, almost stopped him. And I was like, whoa, this is the guy I need to root for. But ever since that loss to Cambosos, yo, like, I, I tweeted this early. I was like, yo, Cambosos didn't own no only take his belts he also took his sanity man the guy just doesn't seem well like says stupid shit he has tweeted before talk about taking his life and talk about how you know and i seen in an interview where he was saying like it don't matter how you love the game you know the game doesn't love you back and all the all types of weird shit where it's kind of like very cryptic and I, and I just don't have been haven't been liking his behavior i honestly don't I, I haven't been liking his behavior